Hello, welcome to another video of Code Snippet. And in this video, we are going to talk about one of the important feature inside Spring that is Spring Events. By using Spring Events, we can design an event driven architecture or a publisher subscriber design. So that is something we are going to look into this particular video. So let's get started without wasting any time. This is going to be a fun video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. All right, so let's quickly jump into the agenda of this particular video. So Spring Events, Publisher and Listeners. So here is what we are going to do. So first we will look into the pub sub design. So publisher subscriber design pattern. So we'll just have a quick glimpse of it. After that, we will implement this design by using event publishers and event listener annotation. So there is annotation called as event listener and there is a event publisher inside Spring Boot provided by Spring. And we will make use of these two and implement this particular design very easily. After that, we will look into the architecture and internal working of your Spring events. So that is basically the simple agenda of this particular video. So let's get started with PubSub design pattern. So what is PubSub? PubSub is a publisher subscriber design pattern. That means a publisher publishes a certain event and that event will be consumed by various subscribers. Now it is a famous design pattern. For example, let's say we have this publisher. Now this publisher will trigger an event or publish an event and there will be multiple subscribers, one or many, which are listening to that particular event. And once that particular event is triggered or fired, this particular subscriber will consume it. For example, this is your event. So this publisher will be able to publish this event and to the same type of event all the subscriber are listening to. So once this particular event is fired by publisher, it will be consumed by each of these particular subscribers. Now what is the use of this particular pattern? So let's quickly see an example of this. For example, Let's say we have an order service. Now what is the primary job of this order service? The primary job is to take an order, process an order, right? So this guy is basically handling your business logic, right? But we also need to do these things like after the order is placed, we need to send an email or we need to log it or we need to perform certain kind of auditing as well. But this is not a part of this particular order service, right? So what order service can do once the order related stuff is done, it can just fire an event that my order is placed. Let's say it is an order created event. That means this order service will place the order and fire this event order created event. Now it need not know about who is subscribing to this particular event. This order service need not know about what is happening to that event, who is consuming, what they are doing with this particular event. One is sending email, one is logging, one is auditing. The point is this guy does not care about it. It will just fire an event and it will forget and it will proceed with its other tasks. Once this event is fired, other people like subscribers or listeners will consume this event. Right Now, once this particular event is consumed, this guy will send email, this guy will do logging, this guy will do auditing, right? So by using this PubSub model, we are achieving loose coupling, right? So these things are decoupled from your order service. So these cross cutting concerns are separate from your main business logic. So that gives us a separation of concerns. So it will give you loose coupling. It will give you separation of concerns. After that, you can easily scale it. You can just keep on adding a new subscriber without changing your order service, right? You can just add another subscriber and this particular event will be consumed by that guy. So that is basically the use case of your pub sub model and this can be easily achievable by using spring events pretty simple stuff so here in the order service you will have a publisher and here in these particular classes you will have event listener nothing big right it's a very simple implementation and very easy to understand right so what we will do first i will quickly show you how that works we will see the magic of publisher consumer inside spring and how easy it to implement and after that we will see how it is working internally right so what i will do so here if you see we have a spring initializer so i have created a new project so it's a maven project with this spring boot version the name is spring events demo i'm using java 17 and i have added this particular spring web dependency so i have already downloaded this particular project and i will quickly open it inside our intellij so there we go so here is basically the project we don't have much over here if you see over here, we have a simple Spring Boot project that we already know. Now what we will do, now here I will quickly create some packages. So here if you see, I have created few packages over here. First is controller, after that we have events, after that we have listeners, and after that we have services, right? So what we will do, we will try to implement the same example over here. So first of all, what I will do, I will just quickly create a 
event class so for example i will create this order created event right so this particular event order created event it is a simple java class it's a plain java class nothing else right i have this constructor over here parameterized constructor and i have this particular getter right i have nothing else it's a simple java class which is basically our order created event after that i will quickly create a order service now this is basically the simple class i have created order service which is annotated by using service annotation and here what i'm doing i'm not doing much i'm just printing a statement that order is created by using this order id after that what i will do i'll simply add a controller so here if you see i have added this particular order controller and i only have one post mapping which says create a order by using this order id i have injected this order service over here and i'm just saying order dot create order it's pretty simple stuff that i'm doing until now so now what we will do we have this order service right and once the task of your order service is done what we need to do we need to publish an event we need to fire an event and how we can do that inside spring boot so spring boot provides application event publisher it provides application event publisher so let's say publisher let me make it private final and let me just create a parameterized constructor over here so we have this publisher so spring boot provides this application event publisher in order to publish your events so after that what you can do simply i will just say publisher dot publish event and here we need to provide the object that we need to publish now we have created this event right so we need to provide this particular event so i will just create a new order created event and i will just pass the order id over here i will zoom it a bit so that it's clearly visible so what we have done we are just saying publisher dot publish event and we are just sending this particular event right new event we are firing now the job of this publisher is done our publisher is completed the job of publisher is done this guy published so this guy basically published this event now now comes the consumer now what we will do let's create a couple of consumers so here i will just create a new class and i will say email notification listener i will convert this guy to a bean by using a component annotation and here i will add a simple method and i will simply say handle order created and send email so that is basically the job of this guy what i will do i'll just simply add a print statement over here and here i will simply say sending email for order now here this particular function now it is a simple function right now this particular function is a simple function now we need to convert this guy to a event listener and we can simply do that by using a event listener annotation and we need to define which particular event type it is listening to there could be multiple events people are firing right so this particular guy should be aware that there is this particular order created event that i want to listen to so here what i will do i will take this particular order created event i will say event and here perhaps what we can do we can just print the event id so i'll just say event dot get order id right so order id we will print over here so that is basically the simple stuff and i guess we are done right we don't really have to do much over here i guess we are done so what i will do i will just quickly run this code let's see what happens so now if you see our application is basically running started spring events demo application right so what i will do i'll pull up my postman real quick and let me just go ahead and add a new api over here so we have order slash let's say order id one now what i will do i will just send it if you see we are getting this particular response and let's see what is happening in the log now if you see over here we have created this order so this is basically the statement coming from this particular class right order service after that you will see that we are sending the email of order id1 that means this particular listener is being triggered so our pub sub model is working just fine so our event listener is again working just fine now let's try to create another listener i'll just say new java class and what other listeners we had it's a logging listener let's say log order details listener right i convert this guy to a component and after that i will quickly add a method over here so there we go i have added a simple method this is basically log order created i'm just it is just catching the same event and we are just printing that order placed for order id and we are printing the order id let me just rerun this code let's see what happens again now i will just send this particular api call and now if you see we will see order created after that sending email for order one after that we have order placed for order id one so both of our listeners are just working fine now 
So that is how simply you can implement pub sub model inside your Spring Boot application, right? By using your application publisher, this particular application publisher and your event listener annotation. Where is it? This particular event listener annotation, right? Pretty simple stuff. But now it is pretty simple to implement, right? It's very easy stuff. But now what we want to do, we want to understand it. What exactly is happening over here? What is happening behind the scene? What exactly is your publisher? How exactly your event is being fired? How exactly this guy is catching it, right? And that is again very simple stuff. So now if I come back over here, we have seen this particular pub sub design. We have also implemented a simple use case. Now perhaps what we can do in order to keep this video shorter, we can cover this architecture and internal working of your spring events in the next video. So I'll just create a separate video for this particular internal working and architecture in which we will actually have a debug session and we will see how it is working internally and how your publisher and listeners are actually working inside your Spring Boot application, right? So this is going to be another fun video. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to Code Snippet right now. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Code Snippet. Share this video with your friends so that they are aware what exactly are Spring events. That's it for this video. See you in the next video.